Hey, it's Holly. Welcome to Living It Country. Today we have a huge home decor haul. I am so excited. We have lots of fall home decor items. We have vintage found items, and a lot of these items can be also incorporated from season to season, just, you know, switching out some faux stems and things like that. So I'm really, really excited to share all of these home decor finds. Everything is from the small business Cotton and Crete, and I've shared them before. I'm absolutely obsessed and I love their found items which I got quite a few of those pieces so start off with my favorite item I hope that's okay to say but this is absolutely my favorite item and it might be my favorite item of the whole entire year of things that I have shared here on the channel and it is this butter churn it is a found object and not one will ever look alike so I love the uniqueness of this in fact I want a second one so I could have it on the other side of my fireplace. Um, when I found this on the website, I initially wanted it for my front door to have one on each side and each season be able to change out a plant inside. It's got this little hole on the top right there and it looks incredible to the right side of my fireplace. I just love it. And then these reed grass stems, this is a two pack right here. I love this. I, this just screams fall to me. I think it's absolutely stunning. And just both of these paired together complement each other. And it's just such a great way to decorate for fall. And this year I'm trying to incorporate less signs and more of things like stems and just natural ways to decorate. Lots of pillows, lots of blankets. In fact, I got so many blankets this year and just my home feels so, so cozy of course candles and things like that. But this is definitely the first thing I wanted to share. And if you guys check out their website, go check out their found items. I don't even wanna see that because I'm obsessed with them and I'm always looking at the website at those items. Um, they bring out new stuff all the time. So be on the lookout. And then I also have a discount code with them. It's Holly15 at checkout and you can save 15% off. So just a fun thing for you guys. Um, if you guys wanna save 15%. So we're gonna go ahead and start with all the large items first. So I got this large wicker picking basket. I love this. This is huge and it's got the handles in the back and I've actually already styled this. The second I got it in the mail, this was styled in my laundry room. I just crossed it like this and hung it on. Um, I've got these really, really cute one, two, three, four, five, six hooks in my laundry room for back to school. It's just darling and I have it hooked. And what I love about this is there's so many different ways to decorate it, whether you put faux stems, a blanket hanging out, you know, put a little decorative pillow out of it, just the possibilities are endless. So I love this and it definitely adds a lot of character and warmth to the space. So this was definitely another favorite, but the butter churn, absolutely my favorite, hands down. This piece right here is absolutely huge. This seltzer bottle I'm obsessed with, I want, more. <laughs> I want more. These, what, well, why I want more is because you're never going to get the same one. It's always going to have a different look, a different size because it's a fountain object. And that's what I love about these. It just adds so much character. And I like mixing new pieces and old pieces, but adding, you know, those old pieces just really add character to your space. So I love this. I've had it sailed right back here. That's why there's a little empty spot. Oh, you guys might, might not be able to see it, but there's a little empty spot and it's just such a great layering piece. I love layering my home decor and just such a great piece for any room, whether you have bookshelves to decorate, um, an office space, just anything. It's just such a great piece, tells a little story and adds a little bit of warmth to your home. Next piece is such a beautiful one. This is a caramel color and it's a crocheted blanket. Absolutely huge, so, so pretty. It's gonna go right on the end of my, my couch right here and so thick, warm, and cozy. This thing is so heavy too. The last time I've had a crocheted blanket was my husband's aunt made one for us and we still have it, but it has gone through just so many life events. And it's so special, first of all, because she made it as our wedding gift. 
And second of all, we've used it for so many different things, whether it be the end of the bed, or we've even used it. Um, it ended up on a TV show, which was so, so funny. Um, but we use it as our tree skirt when, I think it was when we first moved into this house because I think I didn't have a tree skirt or something. So I used it as a quilt and it made it on TV, which was so cool as one of um, an idea as a tree skirt. <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to, but it's just gone through so many adventures. There's now holes in it, all that jazz, but just a, such a fun piece. And I feel like it definitely has all these stories because you know, it's had spit up, from my little ones, you know, through the years. You guys probably don't want to hear that, but um, I just, I love that blanket because of all those fun memories. And so hopefully this blanket will do the same. That's my hope, but this is so perfect for the fall season and I love this color so much. It's making all of my other fall pillows just pop right now. I've got some fall pillows over here, fall pillows here, back there. So definitely a great little piece, a big piece. Next is this adorable pillow. This is a 20 inch cotton Swiss cross pillow. I actually got this for my boy's room because it's black and white and he has the black and white, um, it's like a checkered looking Betty's bedding and we just absolutely love that bedding. Um, it's phenomenal and so it's gonna go perfect with this. In fact, we just literally bought both of our kids. They went through a phase where they both wanted different bedding. They wanted like themed bedding and um, then they kept switching their minds. And so I have come to the conclusion that with my kids, it's best to get like a end quilt that they really, really love and then keep the Betty's bedding because when they switch styles or something like that, then we can just switch that instead of, you know, the sheets, the bedding, all, you know, the pillowcase, all of that stuff. And it's sometimes the designs are just too much for me. So, um, that is kind of like our compromise. They get to decorate their rooms how they want it. Um, but the zipping, ugh, it's just amazing. I love it. But I got that for my boy. Um, so this is not a fall find. This is more of an everyday find, but I just wanted to share this with you guys. Okay, so the next is another pillow. I have not decorated with this one quite yet because it just came in the mail, but it's another 20 inch and it is a blue stone washed look. I love this. This is going in my bedroom on my master bedroom bed. My master bedroom bed, yes. And I love it. It's really, really squishy and I love that it's double-sided. So if I wanna switch it around, and I don't know what it is about this one. It's just really, really roomy. And I always do like the cross thing. It's hard to do it when you're holding it, but this one just looks really, really high-end in my opinion. I don't know if it's the wash of it, but I really, really like it. And it was a really good deal on Cotton and Crete's website. I have one more pillow to show and then we're back to the home decor. But this one is an 18 inch tassel pillow. I love tassel pillows. Oof, I got some fuzzies just flying in the air right now. I haven't styled this one yet. This one just came in the mail as well, but I love the overall look of this. And I love how with decorative pillows like this, it can be, all the different seasons. In fact, I just shared a home decor haul of a lot of fall pillows that are a part of the fall line, but they, they can be used all year long. So I love incorporating pieces like that into my home. So when it comes to the next season, you just add a few little hints here and there of home decor and you're done, right? I love decorating, but sometimes seasonal decorating can just sometimes get a little, a little, you know, too much, depending on the type of home you have or whatever phase of life you're going in. Right now, I want things simple. I want things to look beautiful so I can spend time with my kids, but also be able to do something that I really, really enjoy, which is decorating. So you guys probably didn't need to know all of that, but there you go. <laughs> we have another found object here and it is this darling found keys. It's on this little string right here and Years ago, I got this really adorable lock and key and it was a found item too. I don't know what happened to it and I'm so sad. So I'm so happy to add this to my collection. I love finding little unique pieces. This is gonna go right behind me on my coffee table, but I love unique pieces that kind of add kind of a story or a hint of something different. One thing that I'm really striving to do in my home is to make it different. I don't. I don't want it to look like everybody else's. I want it to be my family story, our story, and just be different. I don't know. I don't know if you guys feel the same way too. And maybe that's why sometimes when I grab things from certain stores like 
Target or Hobby Lobby, sometimes I change my mind because I'm like, I just want it to look different. And um, sometimes different can just be really, really fun. But you can add items that are like everybody else's and find ways to make your home different. So don't stop shopping at those places just because I said that, because I shop at those places too. But I love adding items just like these because it just makes it different. I don't know, maybe, I hope I'm not alone there. I don't know. Next, we have a three pack of seagrass trays. And these I'm so excited about. I have seen these type of trays on, on so many different websites for so much more money. These are such a better deal. And you guys, whether you are putting together a gift basket for a friend, first of all, this is great because it's in a three pack. So if you don't need all three, you, such a great gift, like a, home, a housewarming gift, a Christmas gift, a fall gift. But I love these because you can simply style an area and make it look so put together so, so easily. You just grab one of these, you know, put a tiny little faux plant in it. You put your remote, kind of like what I did back there. But I love this because it gives a whole new texture to your home. I don't have a lot of rattan in my home. I'm adding hints here and there. And so I just love this texture and it makes it kind of have like a beachy coastal farmhouse vibe. So I'm so excited about these for fall, but I am most definitely excited about these for Christmas and also every day. The next item you probably remember if you watched my last Cotton and Crete video, I actually have it styled, it's a different scent, but I have it styled in my dining room area and I have it actually looking just like this. I have not taken anything off because I think it looks darling. I think they did such a great job with this brand. It's called Porchview Home Fragrance Candles, but I think they did such a great job at packaging. I literally have it decorated like this. Let me know in the comment section down below if I'm weird, <laughs> but I, I think it's darling. So maybe I should take it off. Let me open it and then you guys can see and then you could tell me if, would you guys do this too? I, I did it and I don't regret it. I guess I can always take it off of the other one, but um, I think it looks darling. This is a Southern peach tea one and it smells phenomenal. You can still smell it through this and here's what it looks like without the wrapper. There it is. Mmm, it smells so good. See, now my whole house is gonna smell like this just because I took off that wrapper, but I love this style. I love it because I talked about this in the last video, but I love that when you're done with the candle, you have this little basket right here and you can either use it for other candles or you could do something with it. Like it, it honestly looks like a mini trash can. Like you could use it as a mini trash can. I think it's darling. That's the first thing I, I thought of. Really cute. So cute. Next we have two cement pumpkins. We have a light gray and a dark gray and I actually got these in the larger sizes too. I'll show you guys that in just a second. Okay, here we go with the larger sizes. These are extremely heavy and I think these are absolutely gorgeous. I have them styled on both ends of my TV where my shelves are and it just gives a totally different look. It kind of reminds me of the shop Our House where it's a very high-end looking pumpkin style, but definitely something that would go into so many different styles of homes. My arms are getting really, really sore <laughs> from lifting these up, but these are absolutely gorgeous for the fall season. Next, we have this gorgeous rattan handle wall basket. I love this for so many different things. Really, really cute, whether it be in your kitchen area and you wanna hang some fruit, or if you want it in your laundry room for lost socks or something like that. I think it is such a great item. Dryer sheets, it would be great hanging. It would be great just on a shelf. So many different ideas for this. And unlike all the other products that I'm sharing, I love how this has a grayish whitewashed look to it. So it's very different than all the other styles and it really screams kind of that Serena and Lily style. So I really, really love this piece. The next item I'm obsessed with, and it is these orange mini pumpkins. You guys, these are so cute. I need you guys to check out my last Cotton and Crete video because I shared this adorable found wood with, I believe it's five, yes, five glass pieces inside. And I talked about how it would be adorable to add pumpkins to it, and I'm gonna do it with these. Ah, I'm so excited. It's going to be so, so cute. 
In fact, it was this or it was the other little ones. Let me show you guys those. Okay, I just put these underneath here. Here is the other option. These are like creamy, smaller pumpkins. I'll zoom in. There's so many different sizes. So my thought process is adding green moss to, um, excuse me, they're not glass, they're uh, clay pots that are in the, the wood base but adding some moss to it and then adding these, you know, a couple to each of them would be so, so cute. I had candles on it on my dining room table when our friends were here, um, but I just thought these, either of these would be such a great option. And I actually have something very, very similar to these, but they're a burlap ones that I got off of Amazon and I have them in just this wood tray dough bowl styled and it's so cute. So I love these mini pumpkins and I feel like I'm gravitating towards those rather than huge pumpkins this year. Not sure why, but I would love to get some large pumpkins for our front porch. I don't own any for our front porch. So maybe that's something I'll share with you guys here on the channel. Let me know if you guys would be interested. Now these I would say are like a small medium sized pumpkin and these are a five set of rustic pumpkins. They're very, very, um, delicate, pretty fragile, but they are so, so cute. I love all the colors to these. Not one of them is alike, and they are all kind of different sizes. Some of them are smaller, some of them are bigger, and I think if you're looking for a neutral kind of home for the fall season, these would be such a great little accent piece, and they've got like a little bit of a dark green, a light green, kind of like a, a creamyish white, so really pretty colors and I got these because these complement my kitchen so much and you can see my kitchen from every angle of our home and they have dark sage green cabinets so I thought that these would be perfect for our home. We got that huge green sign right here. I love sage green if you guys don't know. Next piece is this adorable pumpkin candle ring. I almost think that this could pass as a wreath for your front door if you put it low enough. I don't know, I think it's darling with these tiny mini pumpkins on them. Aren't they so, so cute? But let me know in the comments, would you guys do something different? I could see it being something not even for just a candle, but I could hang it on a little hook. Um, there's just, the possibilities are endless with this and I love this pop of color because it's very different than the other, um, this is just brighter than all my other pieces, so it's definitely gonna be one of those things that pops and is gonna draw your eye towards. So when I have to think of something really, really specific for this, I definitely think it would be good on my hutch right here. So yeah, I'm thinking as I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> Next, we're gonna be sharing stems for our home and I got this lilac stem, so pretty for the kitchen and I'm gonna put it in one of my two home faces and it's just gonna be a really elegant and pretty kind of look to the space and it's gonna be one of those things that's gonna be there all year long. I know some people don't do that, but if I find a piece that I like, I'm gonna keep it there all year long. Kind of like my Mount Cow sign, you guys. <laughs> Since I got it like four years ago, I have never ever changed it. I have changed it to my office and back because I switch out my Ambro Homestead sign with that. Uh, you know, sometimes when I just feel like a little change, but I love those signs and I'm never gonna get rid of them. I just love them so much. So this is one of those pieces that I think is gonna be just like that. Next, I'm gonna share with you guys two dried floral arrangements. I have them in my, I just bought from Amazon, a beautiful, it's not even a vase, clay pot. It's really beautiful and I bought it from the brand Creative Co-op. It's one of my favorite um, Amazon shops to shop at and I've been shopping from Creative Co-op. Like I've shopped from different shops, the Creative Co-op brand, I should say. And I have this mixed together and it just creates such a beautiful, really unique arrangement and it just looks different. So I like that and thought I would share that with you guys. <laughs> Next up, I have this hanging basket and I hope you guys can't see what's inside because it's for <laughs> another video. Um, but I love this. It very much reminds me of this basket that I shared I think a week ago where it has the woven detail, the leather handles, and this is really cute. The first thought I had for this was a toilet paper holder, but then I started thinking that is definitely not what they just made this for. It can be for so many different things, and I thought this would be just such a great little, possibly something where you put a floral arrangement, you can put maybe throw the keys in and I don't know. I just think the possibilities are endless with these types of items. And so I'm trying to get my creative juices going. 
If you guys have any more ideas, let me know. Next up, we have this rustic candle. This is by the North. Next up, we have this candle from Anchored Northwest Candle Co. And I have shared them for years now. And this is the first time I've ever tried their beach vibes or smelt their beach vibes, I should say. It is so good. Oh, I can smell the coconut. It's got pineapple, coconut milk, coconut banana, tonka bean, vanilla. So, so good. I always gravitate towards the summer scents. And they actually have a lot of fall candles. I actually know because I saved um, in my fall bin. <laughs> I don't know why I did this. I think because I love the, the tin so much, but I saved all of the tins and they're in my fall container of home decor that I have not brought out quite yet um, because I'm not done decorating. But they had um, the, you know, the line of a little bit of candle left on the bottom and I could smell them and none of them triggered my allergies, which was great. So I love this one. I'm so excited. This is going to be one I burn right away. Mm. And I love that it is a wood wick. It makes that cool little like that noise to it. And it just reminds me of like a campfire and it's so much fun. So definitely another find that I'm really, really excited about. This piece is amazing. It is the sandstone planter. This is a beauty and is going into my office on the base of where you start my home decorating. If you guys know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. But this is a heavy duty one. I love the texture. I love the warmth it brings. It is so cute and it's really, really heavy. But I love this. So pretty for all the seasons. And this will definitely be an everyday home decor find that I'm always using. And it definitely reminds me of those high-end stores like our house and um, why can I not think, not Serena and Lily. There's another store. You guys probably know what I'm talking about, but I am so, so excited to have this. I hope you all enjoyed this fall home decor haul. Make sure you guys go visit my friend Charlie in the description box down below. And let me know in the comments your favorite part of today's fall home decor haul. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye.